Hello there, and welcome to David West Photography. That's davidwestphotography.co.uk. Right, today we're going to be fixing old photographs that we've scanned. This one here, for instance, has accumulated lots of dust, as you can see. Lots of noise and lots of yellow stains. I have no idea what caused the yellow stains, other than it's probably age and probably a bit of moisture behind the glass. Mm. Don't know. Anyway, what I don't know is how to fix it. So, first of all, we'll duplicate the layer. So I don't damage the underlying one. Uh, we'll use a filter, noise, dust and scratches. What this does, this kind of, I don't know how it works, it's like magic basically, but it essentially gets rid of individual pixels. And the higher the number, the more it gets rid of. So we've tried three, a little bit too much, so knock it down to two. Again, probably not, not enough, so three was the number we went for. So we'll just let it apply, it takes a few seconds. Come on, that's good stuff. Right, as you can see, much better. The photograph was already blurry anyway, so I mean, there's not a great deal we can do about that. But what we can do is make a new layer, make a layer uh, option to be a color layer. Then we'll choose with the color picker to actually click the underlying color we want, which will in this case is like the blue of the suit, and we'll paint over the stains. And as you can see, as if by magic, all the yellow stains disappear. This is a great technique, very, very useful. And it's not common knowledge actually, so you put it in. <laughs> okay, right, so we would do this all over the suit. Wherever you see the yellow, just keep painting over the top until obviously it's all gone. Right, okay, so rather than bore you with uh, watching me do all that, I fast forward a little bit. And we'll go on with the shirt. So again, pick an underlying colour, paint on the top. Oh, well that's a little bit blue, isn't it? So I'll just redo that bit. There we go. That's better. Um, then just around the yeah, just around the beard because there's a little bit of a, a glow kind of where the where the bleed between the two colours. Right. So paint over the shirt. Same with the tie, the grey. Getting rid of any yellow. Or well, any obvious yellow stains. Voila. A little bit there. Again, you, you could take more time than I'm, I'm obviously going to take with this because this is for its demonstration purposes only. Right. Quick look around. Right, the dress. Actually, I'll just turn the um, saturation down a little bit because the suit looks a little bit like it's a, an old black and white photograph that's been coloured. So I'll just tone that down a tad. Um, I want colour, yep. I'll just adjust the saturation. I need to adjust saturation. Can the saturation that's it? Just turn it down just a little bit. Just give it a little bit more realism. It looks just a little bit too saturated. Um, we've got 12, that'll do. Okay. Ah, that's better. Again, you can see before and after there, uh, basically the yellow stains disappear. I love this technique, it's really, really useful. Right, uh, a different thing on the dress. The dress, because it's white and the stains are darker than, than, than the underlying colour, rather than with the suit, the stains were lighter, they were easier to get rid of. What we have to do with this. Well, actually, I'll show you first. If I just use the same technique, paint over the top with a colour overlay. See, if I just paint over the top, all it did, it's kind of a, the same shade, if you like, as the dress. But, of course, the stains are darker, so all we're going to do is colourise them to be a similar shade, and it's not actually getting rid of anything. It's just making them not yellow. So the only option we have, really, is to use the clone tool. So make sure you're on all layers because the we're working on a layer and we want to grab the image from underneath the current layer. Essentially press the alt for the target where you're going to sample the, the image from and I'm sure you know how to use a, the, the clone tool. Um, if not, please see one of the earlier tutorials on the clone tool. But anyway, what we do, we just quickly plot along removing all the yellow bits and all the stains and all the unsightly bits that we don't want. 
taking samples from the, the breast where where it's in good nick basically. Sorry, good nick equals good condition. Right. There we go, off and on. We can see what we've done. Okay. Obviously I fast forwarded this so you know you didn't have to sit and watch. Right, as you can see we've got a line across the feet. I'll quickly show you how to get rid of that using the patch tool. That's the patch tool there. What we do, we'll go around it. We'll drag the more key down to an area that to cheese as a, a fill. That was probably a little bit too big, so we'll undo that. We'll try again this time a little bit tighter around the li around the line. See if again no. Uh, it's a little that's much better. Right, there's a little bit there, so we'll get rid of that using the same technique. And that's magic. Excellent. Okay. The face, the face, the face. Again, similar technique as what we used on the suit. We're going to, all we're going to do is a new layer, colour, sample the pink from underneath or the areas of the colour that we want with no yellow. And again, we are going to paint over the yellow bits. And just like the suit, as if by magic, it all disappears. And again, you would do this all over the image, all the faces on all the characters. It's a little bit laborious, a little bit tedious, but the end result is you manage to save a picture, and I'm sure your client will be more than happy, because I'm sure it means a lot more to them than what it did for you. Right. Obviously, you can see a little bit of the white in the top left corner there. So yes, I think we'll crop that, I think. Okay, anyway. Let me just quickly show you the before and after. There you go. Before, after. Before and after. I'm sure you'll agree. It's a much better, much better uh, version. Okay, now there's a few bits and bobs, there's a few anomalies around the, the, the picture. We might as well fix while we're here. Using the patch tool there, and we've just selected that area and cloned it from another area stand out and distract from the image see as you can, I don't know what that is but it doesn't look like it should be there so let me just repair that using the clones tool just sampling some of the other reads and let's fix that okay a few bits and bobs on the ground we can get rid of I think just again using the clone tool we might as well just remove them because they look a little bit distracting. Um, a little bit of rubbish. Did some pretty gravy later, that's just to you know, tidy it up. Like so. Quick check around. Probably should confetti will leave that. Let's pop the picture. That's fine. So let's zoom out and have another look. We'll tidy it up now. I think. I'm sure more key, making sure that we're within the, the, the range of the picture. Um, that looks fine, and then we'll crop it. I think. Yep, that looks okay. Image. So before. you can see there's a massive difference massive um, well and that's about it really I hope it's it's been useful um, I hope you can understand me Charlie accent um, as you can tell I'm not a public speaker but I'm just trying to help so again I hope you've enjoyed it um, I hope it proved useful to you and please check out the web page it's www.davidwestphotography.co.uk um, and I'll be hoping to put more tutorials up there for you to look at and uh, basically help and if you have any questions please drop us a line